We're gonna talk about what it takes to develop a champion mindset with American Idol star, William Hung. What is up, underdog fam? My name is Zachary Babcock. I'm the host of the Underdog Empowerment Podcast. I'm here to help you rise up, break free, and dominate life. And if you want the best tips on how to win as an underdog entrepreneur, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way, you don't miss anything. And we are getting started right now. We put them hours in to bring them my name is Zachary Bell. This is the perfect, you know, conversation here talking about, you know, mustering up that courage, you know, even if you're you're afraid of something to go out and what it takes to be a champion. Can you kind of tell us a little bit, you know, how you develop that mindset? Sure, of course. So I would say that it's about making conscious choices to keep moving forward keep trying the things that you want to try you do things that you want to do despite having the fear because the fear will never go away you know that i i don't believe that you can just suddenly eliminate fear because it always exists but you can but you can uh, tell yourself like okay th th things can go wrong right things could definitely went wrong uh initially when i auditioned for american idol there's no way I could expect a Simon to suddenly like say like, you can't sing, you can't dance. So what are I going to say? Right. <laughs> I mean, there's no way to plan for that. Uh, but I just told myself it's okay. It, it, you, I tried uh, and failed, and then I and then even if that American Idol audition didn't work out the way I wanted to, I just tried something else in life. It's not a, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, man, definitely. Because you were you were going to school at the time, and you had uh, taken off, you know, taken off from school to make it to that audition. And yes, you didn't get accepted into American Idol, but it really wasn't a failure because you know, like you mentioned, you learned and grew from that experience. What were some key things that you took away from that whole entire experience that helped you in your personal development growth? Well, the, the one of the key things is that I realized there are uh, critics. There are critics out there, and uh, and it's like how you hand. It's how you choose to handle it. The, the media. I, I I don't think they really like me. It's, they always say like I have off key performance. Uh, portray Asian stereotypes. You know, some of them they say that. You know, and and I, the way I see it's like well. I I understand uh, their perspective, but at the same time, I also have my supporters and fans, and there's no way that I should be ashamed of what I do because I am making a difference for for the people I work with, the people that are that are inspired, the people that bought my albums. You know, it's like uh, there's positive and negative. And I want, I choose to focus on the positive. So there's two, two key takeaways that I got from this video that I want to expand on right here. One is facing your fears. Two is blocking out the haters, putting the blinders on. So let's dive into one. So one, facing your fears. The best way that I know how to face your fears, how to be able to take action whenever you're faced with fear is by getting enough leverage on yourself. And what do I mean by that? Tony Robbins drills this home if you ever listen to him or study him. Um, and I, I, I noticed that I was doing this before I even knew who Tony Robbins was anytime that I was able to face my fears. And that is by making it too painful not to face your fears, by making it so pleasurable to actually take action right now and face your fears. And how do you do that? Well. I do it, you know, it's by asking yourself pain and pleasure inducing questions like, how will I feel if I don't act on this opportunity, if I don't ask for the sale, if I don't stand up, how am I going to feel tomorrow, next week, next month, how, am, how are my family going to perceive me if I don't do this, how are they going to look up to me, how, how are my loved ones going to be affected by this if I don't go all in. You know, that's getting enough leverage and pain on yourself. Then also ask yourself pleasure inducing questions like, how will I feel if I got enough balls and go all in and bet on myself? How will I feel if I actually ask for the sale? How will I feel if I accomplish this? How is my family going to be affected by it? How are they going to perceive me? Like all these things, that's getting leverage. Most people are moved more by 
pain than they are by pleasure. Like most people, will, their need to avoid pain is greater than their desire to gain pleasure. But both of those are in every single human being. That's how we make every single decision that we make. So get enough, get enough leverage on yourself. Secondly, blocking out the haters, blocking out the noise. You know, throwing the blinders on and getting crystal clear focus and just going all in. Now, what I mean by that is, don't be arrogant. Don't think that you're better than you actually are. And but don't listen to your haters when they say that you're not going to make it or that you don't deserve it or none of that. You know, you can take what they say and figure out if it's actually true and if you need to improve, you know, if it, you got to know where you're at. Know exactly where you're at right now. Don't hype yourself up and don't take away nothing either. But don't fucking listen to them when they're trying to t d deter you away from your dreams and, and hopes. That's only going to be detrimental. Get around people that are going to encourage you, that have your best interests at heart, and that are going to push you forward, but also call you out on your bullshit and tell you what you're doing wrong. Because you got to get getting mentorship like that is critical uh, in any type of success because they could see things that you necessarily can't see. If you want my 33 branding and positioning tactics on what I use across all my social media platforms and just how to brand and position myself in general, it's in the description below. You can download and check it out. If you want to check out this full interview, uh, it's on underdogempowerment.com, Stitcher, Google Play, and iTunes. I'll have all those links in the description below. And if you want some more videos that are going to help you dominate and win and develop this champion mindset, make sure you check out this playlist right now there and if you haven't already subscribed to this podcast yet what are you waiting for now seriously like if you haven't subscribed to this podcast if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel yet make it happen if you're getting value from this channel only if and tap the bell notifications that way you don't miss anything and i will see you on the next video we put them hours in to bring them dollars in uh -huh. That underdog empowerment. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.